Hello people, this is Bear from Barrier Collector, and today we're going to try to address what is going on with Pokemon 151, which we use version, and um, even though this was a very covered topic, I mean, pretty much everyone talked about it in, in this space, in this industry, um, I waited, and uh, there's a reason why, which you'll see later on in the video, so I don't want to really go over too much what's been going on, because many other people many other pokétubers youtubers talked about it and uh, they have a much larger audience than i do so i don't really see the point i'll just briefly touch it and then what i want to focus on today is uh what is going on with prices what is happening with sealed boxes and we'll look at data we'll look at what's going on as you can see here with prices we'll take a quick look at some of the hits and see how prices are evolving and then we'll take a look and this is this is going to be fun guys we'll take a look at the number of boxes that have been available on car market if you're new to the channel first of all welcome uh, i am in the european union and i also take a look at not only what's going on in the american market but also at the european and many times in my video i tend to compare the two and see what's going on in overseas and uh, it's that's what we do on the channel so I, you, you'll see a surprise when we do take a look at the number of boxes. So I highly recommend either if you stay tuned or to go skip. If if you are already had enough of, of myself, I can go skip ahead to the video. I'll, I always leave timestamps for chapters so you can go look at that part. And then I'll give my take on what I'm personally doing with uh, Japanese 151 and whether I think it's investable or not. So let's get started. Without further ado, basically, what's going on with the boxes? The it looks like it appears like the reprint has yet to come. This might have been a restock. This might have been Japanese sellers trying to dump product into the market. It's not clear if you look if you look at larger pocket tubers such as uh, Alex from Nostalgenomics. He does say that he's in contact with some reputable sources saying that the reprint has yet to come so we'll look at it some others saying that the reprint is going to come in waves so this might have been the first wave um, i have no idea i've seen I've, i'm on japanese groups um, of exporters sellers that export um, all over the world and i've seen w how prices have been involved uh, evolving um, probably you did too their sneaker dunk that is also a reputable source where you can look at prices and uh, you see they pretty much the bottom hit at uh, 55 to 56 american dollars and uh, that's before import shipping blah 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 and then it, uh, it went back up now it looks like we're just below 90 dollars uh, us again so that's pretty much what's going on i think that either only japanese uh, know what's going on or the Pokemon company themselves uh, most likely Japanese know what's going on and we'll touch later on on uh, what what I think it's going on and obviously what I'll do accordingly what what is my investment uh, strategy on this product so here basically obviously there's no Japanese 151 TG player so th there is on car market car market allows you to list here J Japanese cards but I wanted to take a look at the Pikachu Hollow, the Monster World Hollow, and the Charizard. So it's simple, and I mean, it was easily predictable, easily forecastable that uh, prices would have dumped. Now, this pretty much is the time when the print, um, the news of the reprint hit. And you see how pretty much what is interesting, I think, is how the prices of the 10 dropped more than raw prices. Same goes for the, the Zard. And then again, if you take a look at the Arica's Invitation, you see how prices have been dropping, especially PSA 10 prices. Now, for raw prices, um, that has to be said. Pocky Data, um, it it looks like it takes sales of eBay here. So it's m much more reliable on PSA graded cards rather than raw prices. Because if you take raw off eBay, you'll you'll never know really how the car really looks. Um, it's, you, you can list it as near mint, but you, you don't really know. So it's much more reliable on uh, on PSA prices. That's That could be why 
we don't see raw prices move as much. That's a possibility. I don't know. Nevertheless, it is. It was forecastable, and it is happening. Raw prices are dropping now. Let's get into another part, which is what's happening with sealed boxes, and that is going to be a fun part of the video. So here we are onto an Excel sheet, which is quite interesting because if you look here at the bottom, so we have this file, and then we have all these sheets, which there's many of them. And of all these sheets, I don't know if you can hear my mouse clicking. Um, of all these sheets, there's data. Every single one of this is populated with data. As you can see here, data has been taken from uh, car market. So you can imagine something is cooking here on the channel. If you're in the Discord, you should already know what's cooking. And uh, if you're not, then uh, I guess that that's as your chance to, to join up on the Discord link is in the description of the video and it's obviously completely free. So, I mean, you can guess, uh, you can try to imagine what's going on, but uh, hopefully you'll be curious enough by now to, to have joined the Discord already. So here you can see pretty much self-explanatory, uh, this, this chart, boxes over time. So I've only started to take track of these. So I mean, hopefully it's uh, it's clear enough. So I'm started on uh, April 22nd, which was uh, Monday. Ba that's basically when the reprint hit. And uh, that's what's happened with the boxes. So not only that, here we have a handful of interesting data. Now, please, this is car market data. It reflects European market. But uh, in a way, it obviously, unless you're in Japan, you need to import 151 boxes, Japanese 151. So it, it's going to sell for similar prices in the US, usually a bit lower. And it's going to sell for different prices over the world. However, as the prices in, in in this case in the U and all over the world depends on Japanese prices, the Jap how, how Japanese sellers, uh, what price Japanese sellers sell their product, they're all going to be they're all going to move together. It's highly unlikely that the European market is going to go up and the American market is going to go down at the same time. They're going to move together. Different absolute values. So there's also also different currencies, but they're going to move together. So that's what's important. And that's what you be, should be focusing on for this type of data. So here, what we have basically, I'll help you read through the data. So we have the median price, which is not the average, it's the median. So this price splits the data set into now it's not weighted. So it's absolute prices, you take all the prices listed, and the median price to tell you 50% of the data. So 50% of the price is before 199, so it's below 199. 50% of the prices are above 199. And then I take the average of the four lowest prices that are listed. And then I also, I'm very curious, I want to know where do we add the most supply? Most supply here, maximum item count, so maximum number of boxes was 20 on April. This is April 22nd. And you had 235 boxes, lowest listed 109 euros, medium price 199. That's not really important for the time being. Average price of four lowest listed 113. Now let's go to the day after April 23rd, 195 boxes, 40 boxes less in 24 hours. Now we don't know if they're confirmed sales. That's a trick with the car market, or we don't know if, if simply the seller removed it took them off the market. We don't know, but it's highly possible they were so sold. So here already, now the number, uh, the maximum amount of boxes on the market is 25 from 20. Lowest price is still 109 uh, euros. Median is already above, and average lowest price is starting to come up. It came up two euros, which is still 2%, uh, basically, roughly 2% in 24 hours. Now, 195, 40 boxes sold. Let's go on to yesterday, April 24th. We have 314 sold over 100 boxes dumped into the market in 24 hours. Now think about this. The, the print the reprint hit on the 22nd, we're at the 24th. That's when boxes started to, to get to, to stores. And that's when stores, when sellers, when European sellers, European stores had the boxes physically. And that's possibly when they started to 
to get listed. That's what data is suggesting us. So here already, that's really different. From 25, you have 71. This 71, so an increased amount of boxes available to sell, not pre-sell, but sell. Remember, it's all like the US market and we know what happened with the Americans, with the American market pre-orders, blah, blah, blah. These are orders. If you buy it, you need to have it in stock. So 71. So this 71 against 25 basically confirms what I just said. It's highly possible that this day many sellers started to receive their boxes in store. So they start to have them in stock. And look at this prices down, uh, basically skyrocketed. Remember, this is pretty much the bottom that we have, oh, sorry, the top that we had so far. Again, so far might my, my go my, uh, my, much more, much higher. We don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. Uh, but here, 15 euros difference. That's over 10% price increase in what 24 hours despite so price are, is increasing and supply is also increasing strong demand what we should ask ourselves and we'll ask that in what i think about 151 as an investment where is demand coming from so let's go back to, onto the last data the data point that we have for today now today we had 468 boxes on the market Maximum amount of boxes was 67. Possibly, it's is, is this 51 minus the boxes for, sold for, from that seller. Prices come down back to one and seven, 117 euros in 24 hours. So huge price shift in, in in such a short amount of time. And again, here many more sellers. It's possible that sorry to God their boxes in store they're now on stock ready to be shipped and you can see this by this the item comes so this how many boxes a seller every row uh, is a seller is listing 55 30 16 67 42 so you see that there's these large orders this large supply is pro probably a big seller a store of some sort that is selling so now Hopefully this was clear too much. Um, it is some data that will need manipulation. I'm working on it again. If you find this interesting, look at look at what we have. Look at what we have down here as I'm scrolling. So if you want to stay tuned, definitely hit the subscribe button on the channel and join the Discord. As the people in Discord know more than you do if you're watching this video. So now now my take on on Japanese 151. So when it comes to investment and Obviously, this is not financial advice. This is what I think and what I do. Um, so I don't like risk. I prefer low risk, the lowest that I can get, which you can measure risk in many different ways. And I prefer a lowest reward if it comes with lower risk. So I don't like risk. And as you can see, you see the number of boxes that have gone in and out of the market and you see how prices are volatile you obviously you don't need to, to look at car market you can could have looked at the the Japanese market on what, what was going on there but obviously what's going on as I said what's going on on the Japanese market it's reflected into every other market in the world European American Australian whatever you want all over the world because that's where you get boxes so basically I don't have any 151 I never bought it why price was 4x uh, MSRP it, and uh, I don't want a volatile item I want an item that is cheap I want to get in as the cheapest price that I can and it needs to be as close to MSRP if not below MSRP which is what I'm doing with English I'm getting English boxes in the European Union for a very attractive price and uh, basically that's my strategy I don't buy high I don't care if it's gonna double tomorrow. It's okay. It's possible. We're looking data is telling us how volatile this, this thing is. It's crazy volatile. Ten percent in uh, twenty four hours. That that's that's a lot. That's what I don't want in my Pokemon investment, and uh, that's why I'm not buying any. Now, things are gonna change if if we do get much more supply if actually we do get more waves a reprint and uh, that will come with uh, obviously 
abundance of supply into the market, which we, we've seen our demand is strong, but we've also seen many sellers getting a sh low ton of uh, of boxes, uh, and uh, that tells you that you know it's a seller trying to import, and then they want to sell, flip the boxes for a profit. So that's going to be interesting to see how it's going to play out. I want a ton of supply to to drive prices lower, and at that point. I'm not buying at that point. I'm considering, and I look at all, all the data that I'll, that I have at that point. As you can see, data is already updating every day on all items, but I'll update it. I'm also working. Spoiler: I'm working on a model. Uh, as you know, if you're new, I'm a mathematician myself, so I'm working on a model. But that's another topic. But that's basically what I think and what I'll do with Japanese 151. Again, if you enjoy what you see, please. Hit the subscribe button, it really helps. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in the Discord. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.